morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the African Wahala. It's going to be a quick live stream. Let's talk about the police strike that is coming up tomorrow, March 26th. So the Nigerian police force, the rank and file officers, the lower ranking guys, they decided to take to the streets of Eagle Square in Abuja tomorrow, March 26th, to protest against their terrible welfare, their lack of proper payment, the terrible um, amenities that they have in their barracks, and just how they are treated like slaves, okay? The Nigerian police, we all know that these guys are supposed to be our friends. They are supposed to serve and protect, but they don't because their living conditions are horrid. They've become opportunists, just like many other um, employees in the country. People are always trying to take advantage of other people, even if it means trampling down on their fundamental rights or just making other people uncomfortable for you to get to the next level. And that's exactly what the police do too. You find Nigerian police officers taking bribes, engaging in police brutality. They arrest you, um, throw you in jail just because you refuse to pay a bribe. If you tell a police officer that, I know my rights, you can't do that to me. He will treat you like trash unless you yourself are connected. We all know how it works in Nigeria. So the police officers, they need to be given some credit for deciding to go out there to protest against their horrid conditions. Like one of the reasons that these guys are protesting is the, the salary structure. The EFCC level three officers get paid over 250,000 Naira per month. But the level three police officer only gets paid 45,000 Naira per month, almost like minimum wage. How do you expect that police officer not to be a crook? How do you expect such a police officer not to be punishing the citizens, taking advantage of the citizens instead of serving and protecting them? That's what he's going to do. You give a poor man an AK-47 and a license to do whatever he can with anybody on the streets. So these police officers are, you know, they've become a pain in our asses. But they are going out there to protest. And fast forward, one of the organizers of the protest, he goes by the name Inspector Olubinkwe Olon Rodari. He was arrested for being an organizer of the police protest that is supposed to take place in Abuja, Eagle Square, March 26th, the same day that the PDP and APC conventions are taking place. And you should know that this is just insane. A, a rational thinking police officer at this point should realize that the government wants you to remain in your horrid conditions they want you to remain poverty stricken they want you to remain dirty they want your barracks to remain like like a sewage ground they don't want you guys to have a good life like them they are gonna have their convention tomorrow they will use a lot of police officers rank file the low-ranking police officers to protect them during their convention but at the same time they want those police officers to continue living like slaves how does that make any sense now they are arresting the organizers of the protest because they are threatened they don't want the police to go out there to protest but the police have to protest because their standard of living is trash but at the same time the politicians that are responsible for the welfare of the police wants them to remain living like trash living in that garbage lifestyle while they are protected the, the the politicians and it can't remain that way an average police officer that has sense right now should realize that we are the same as these people that we oppress every day the regular people on the streets that the politicians send you to go and arrest when we go out there to protest for example during the NSARS campaign, we took out to the streets to protest. The police was used to violently crush the protest. They arrested a bunch of people, threw them in prison. Some are still in jail to this day. Nobody knows where they are. They've been in prisons in different parts of the country. Their family members don't even know if they're dead or alive. Nobody knows who they are. They have not been charged in front of any courts for any crimes that they committed. They were just arrested because they were protesters performing their fundamental human rights now the police is treated the same way they have a protest coming up tomorrow one of the organizers of the protest is arrested 
because they want you to also remain like slaves that's it the same way they treat us the people that's how they treat you the police officers and this is a clear evidence that we are the same we are both victims of this crazy system so whenever the police um the government officials try to use the police officers to violently crush protesters that are asking for a better country and you go out there to crush them you have just contributed to your own sufferings but i know all this stuff that i'm saying it can't even make sense to a lot of these police officers because they are just bro they're just desperate hungry opportunists just like they've turned majority of nigerians into they've turned us into desperate hungry opportunists that cut corners at every given every every given opportunity police are going out there to protest the government says no don't protest if you protest you are committing mutiny oh they are committing mutiny but at the same time you expect a level three rank police officer to be paying forty-five thousand naira a month what is he supposed to do with that how much is food how much is the to, you, you, you don't even have electricity you don't have water you have nothing now you have to provide those things by yourself and it's crazy expensive and you're only getting paid for the five thousand naira per month and you expect them not to protest so the bottom line of this conversation is the police they are also a group of oppressed people in nigeria just like many other oppressed groups and this is a great opportunity for oppressed groups to unite to form some sort of a unification whereby we can collaborate and fight against the oppressive system it would have been perfect if people took this opportunity that the police are going out there to protest tomorrow march 26th to go out and start campaigning for whatever they want to campaign for because when people go out to protest tomorrow not the police the regular people maybe another group of oppressed people maybe people that are asking for the end to the 1999 constitution for example you're asking for the end to the 1999 constitution the police is also on strike while the police is striking it is a great opportunity for you as someone or a group asking for the end to the 1999 constitution to go out and protest because you know what's going to happen there wouldn't be any police to crush you violently if you go out there to protest and also it's a it's a sign it's you showing a sign of solidarity to the police and i understand the police is not our friend because they are extremely corrupt they are wicked so the police will treat you bad they will punish you just pray you never get in their problems you never get in police problems but at the same time even though the police is supposed to be our friend but they turned out to be our enemies sometimes we have to collaborate with the enemy for the greater good of the future so it would have been a great opportunity for people to go out and show solidarity to the protesting officers and if possible use that opportunity to campaign for whatever they want to campaign for. that would have been a great opportunity but i don't think that's going to happen i haven't really you know seen people trying to organize such protests but i wouldn't be surprised if something pops up tomorrow i wouldn't be surprised bottom line of this conversation is nigerian police you guys are not different from us you are also oppressed people and that's why your barracks look like dust bean looks like absolute trash i don't even know how you guys eat in that in that kind of environment raise families your salaries are trash and that's why you guys are forced into corruption there is no way a man that makes forty-seven thousand naira per month can send his children to decent schools and there is no way someone that makes forty-five thousand naira per month is not poverty is not going to be affected by poverty okay so you guys are no different from us and that's why when we go out there to protest the ones amongst you that have sense because many of you will not care you're still going to follow your masters to oppress us the ones amongst you that have sense you should disobey the orders from your masters when they tell you 
to violently crush us for asking for a better country. And that's all I have to say this morning. Thank you for tuning in. The African Wahala will be back tomorrow. Peace, blessings. Have a good day.